Jimmy, this some serious gourmet shit. Me and Vincent would have been satisfied with some freeze-dried tasteless choice, right? <laughs> and he sprays this serious gourmet shit on. What flavor is this? What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Project Manga Podcast, where we cover One Piece, My Hero Academia, Black Clover, Promise Neverland, Chainsaw Man, Samurai 8, and Jujutsu Kaisen. Week to week, back this week, covering Weekly Shonen Jump issue number 11. I'm your host, Eagle. What up, Skiko? Noxtradamus. <laughs> oh, <laughs> got him. And as always, we'd just like to say before we get started, visit the link tree in the description box down below where you can find the links to any and all of our online communities, any audio listening platform you'd like to listen to the Project Manga podcast on, and ways to support the podcast if you would be so inclined. Yeah. And with all that out of the way, how do you guys feel about this weekend jump? I feel incredible about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was amazing, even without One Piece. Even without uh, One Piece, everything was even so with, incredible. Yes, everything was fat. Pretty yeah. sure everything slapped. Yeah, all every chapter. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I called something in every chapter that came true. I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, I, think, it's, I think two of I think, them. I, I think, yeah, the I think life of a clairvoyant. Come out with you know, the every the, chapter missing. Well, <laughs> And and I call Black Clover too, which it's isn't not super hard, hard to fucking call. No, Black Clover. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not really. Black Clover is going to be like fucking five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's some speculation there, that could yeah, be made. Yeah, but, for sure. But yeah, 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 yeah. no, there's yeah. But what a week though. Be longer than five minutes, just so you. Know, yeah, what a, what, a, what a fucking week though, dude. Um, Jujutsu Kaisen, crazy. Probably my favorite chapter this week. Even though my hero and Samurai Eight were just as good. The Promise Neverland. All I don't think there's a. Uh, chainsaw man is my favorite yeah yeah it's like <laughs> chainsaw man was f dude the i was fucking spit. rolling <laughs> dude, spit. that shit was fucking funny as fuck yeah i can't oh, yeah. even everything like, everything bro. on fire yeah dude well all right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah let's, let's, let's do it well with that all being said yeah. let's do it then i think we can get right into the meat and potatoes of this thing jujutsu kaisen chapter 94 the shibuya incident Part three. Twelve. <laughs> All right. Jesus. Jesus. Fuck yeah. Um do you want to start it, Kiko? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, first thing you could take right away it, from this is that curtains can be broken or at least cracked or broken into mm -hmm. with physical force. Yeah, with physical force. By yeah. someone yeah. other than Gojo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gojo just <laughs> Hey, uh, what's <laughs> going on? <laughs> Yuji uh Yuji broke the one that Nanami was in, didn't he? He broke into it. Um, um I don't remember earlier on. I'm pretty sure that's how he got the cause Nanami got caught in Mahito's fucking that um, was his territorial expansion, I thought. Oh yeah, true, true. Yeah, and, yeah. Then, he, and then he sakunaed, and then Sakuna yeah. just walked out yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, but yeah, he he winds that shit up right away. First panel, ah, hell yeah, <laughs> That's so Love sick. Him. Love I'm him. like, Love who is he scrapping? But it was just <laughs> the wall. You yeah. have to punch this wall in, but then it's and also his kata form was perfect too with the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, form on point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, no. But uh, you also get the, you know, conditions or rules kind of, and you know, like you if know, you're that was the I yes. love, bro, how it's yeah. like they specify. I swear to God, it's like Togashi, he didn't want to take the shame of, of, you know, I swear. He, he fucking, he, Yu Yu Hakusho'd Hunter. And he fucking yeah. is writing this series under it. <laughs> he didn't want to be shamed for fucking doing it twice. He's ghostwriting. Yeah, this yeah, fucking no. shit is crazy. Yeah, and it, it definitely the, does. The feel. conditions are tight as fuck. How it's like, man, he they must be like chilling out here with us in yeah. one of the most obvious places because the barrier is just too strong for them to be chilling in. Yeah, and it's the deductive barrier. reasoning is cool on like behalf of like the characters that are involved. But I mean, like one thing that like kind of like separates Gege from Togashi is where like Togashi will give you an abundance. Yeah, shout outs to Gege for real. Yeah, Gege or Togashi will give you like a grip of exp uh, of explanation to explain, you know, something that you're curious about or something that's being introduced like all at once it kind of seems. But like Gege gives you like more of like a show you know rather than tell kind of situation for a while but then like we'll give you like little mini exposition dumps like throughout the span of an arc you know what i mean so like, because like we were really confused about curtains i feel like you know up until yes you know this chapter but i mean we still had like a lot of information about them so basically the way that i 
kind of like understand curtains at this point is like you load the medium or these needles that they fucking use with a barrier yep. technique and then set conditions on it and then once that barrier technique is loaded into the medium then you load your cursed energy into the needle to get the yeah. the, the curtain you know plus the whatever effect so you know, that's you an option that's, yeah. that's an option. I think some yeah, that we can take yeah. away from this that we didn't know before at all is that like you can set a barrier. Like how big is this thing? Because right, you can I, I set think a barrier on a location much... that you're not even at. Well, I think you have to be there to like start. They're it. on top of the tower, right? But I think you can leave after. Or well, I don't know. It's that no, part they got to be in the phys- they got to be in the vicinity. Yeah, I think which you, you got to be there counts. to cast it. So and think about um, you know obviously there's going to be a range right like how far can you be before probably the closer you are yeah the closer you are and within vision that you are the stronger your your curtain's going to be yeah so where they are on top of the skyscraper probably gives them since it's directly below them yeah and that it gives them just enough distance so that they know that there's no physical attack that could break into it really yeah um and and yet they're hidden still at the same time you would they, they thought yeah uh, right it's not like an obvious like you're not going to just be able to see them looking yeah. at yeah but i think yeah. i think another thing that plays a factor in it is like how big your like range or like proximity or radius diameter whatever term whatever terminology it is i think that has <laughs> to deal with how much cursed energy you put into it at the time of the casting right because like that's something's yeah. got to dictate how big this thing can be and how far you know what the area of effect is so that's probably yeah. how much energy that you put into it which i would assume See, but- like takes away from your 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 fighting capability thereafter because of how much depending on the size depending on yeah. how much juryoku you put into the needle that's taking they- away from your fighting Juryoku. But the it, it makes it sound like anybody can do that job anybody can put the juryoku into it it's yeah. whoever's like you know imbuing those needles with the fucking curtain mm-hmm. who's you know most of the technique right so yeah. yes i mean i guess that doesn't mean that uh somebody strong couldn't couldn't be the one to you know give juryoku and still maybe have enough left to fight but it just it just sounds like in order to have to me to have enough juryoku to make it strong enough or big enough or whatever you know yeah. the limitations are on it you're going to need somebody strong enough to give it that you yeah. know i would think yeah 100%. so and so like yeah well these old people you know whatever actually they're not all old. Two i was surprised more. as hell man i'm like <laughs> what they're fucking the bad guys man i was like fuck <laughs> man i really like this guy yeah. no yeah i i thought they I were still bad like guys. what's their right. affiliation are they like a set level well, obviously they have to be in cahoots with mahito and them but i mean they're they're just an antagonists at the moment yeah but i mean like are they like i, I just want to know what they're linked to main villain group is because maybe like, they're just like a third party that's just like supporting well them. no because they they they're running the barrier so yeah they're affiliated with like probably maybe ghetto yeah maybe because so, they they know gojo as well so it would make sense that they would be more affiliated with yeah, yeah no they they're part of the sorcerer world right like they're part of the school you aren't they so, yeah um I don't, i'm not sure i don't i don't know i, what, it, I don't know it what might have been stated i don't know I, I yeah i feel like that was. was stated and i feel like they're you know maybe it wasn't stated but I, it feels like they're like maybe elders you know that because she called him uh, Gojo Gojo Sensei. Sensei. and that yeah, and that, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, right yeah, yeah. yeah that's right that we, we were talking about that last week but at the yeah. same time it's like i don't know if that's enough of a because like 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 no, because Kiko said last week like just because like they're addressing him as a sensei, they could just know he's a teacher. You know what I mean? You don't have to yeah. be, you don't have to be my teacher in order for me to call you a sensei. Well, you just know you're a teacher, and then you're. A sensei. That's true. That's true too. But that's I was just saying like if they were with the school that yeah. they would call him sensei because they know he's a teacher of the school, not just like a random teacher that they have no affiliation to. I was just saying because what we were talking about, you know, I remember now that is gojo one of their actual sensei like their trainers or whatnot and then no. we we're like no that's not possible yeah. you know okay no okay they're okay. all too old so yeah. i mean whatever I, 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 yeah. i'm cool with them just being like to be determined on that just because there isn't enough information on that exactly sure. like what their link is with everything but um one more thing i want to talk about inside of the curtain conversation is that it's cool that you can like it seems that like you can add a secondary like condition to it after the fact because like if you really can 
like okay like say like you don't have to be like it could because like a curtains like one of the curtains main functions is to conceal the caster which is what kind of what they were talking about in this chapter and how like the fact that the caster is outside of the curtain strengthens strengthens it because you don't because you're not hidden anymore by it so because yeah. you're outside of it and able to be found that strengthens the, the curtain to a certain degree because it's kind of like that quid pro quo like give and take like kind of like also how like inside of um your jutsu shiki you know techniques you can strengthen them by telling your opponent about them which is very hunter-esque as well you know what i mean that's a condition that you see in in, in hatsu sometimes like with genthru the bomber he tells you you know like what his you know hatsu is and that is one of the conditions to activate it but it probably has to do with how strong the little flower and the or the countdown is inside of his inside of his hatsu so like that's a really cool thing with the curtains too but like you would think that the that if you're not inside of the curtain or if you're a certain proximity away from it that it would weaken the barrier rather than strengthen it but i mean like, that's I, what i was saying yeah i get the logic there but i mean like what they were talking about in this chapter is that since he, the caster is outside of the barrier and able to be found that's strengthening the barrier or that's strengthening the curtain is the dialogue that i saw at least that's what i took from it i feel like that's like a verbatim yeah, dialogue that, yeah because yeah. They, they can be easily attacked you yeah. know like you can yeah. just you know since they're they're in in vision but yeah um that's that's what we were talking about like how far can they be before the curtain starts to weaken weak you know yeah. you know and and is there a distance i would say there has to be you yeah, know yeah. Um, sure. not you can't just be you can't just be, like, just be oh, in new mexico let me well, cast a, yeah right <laughs> well, <laughs> what, if, what if the needles are there but the casters aren't and the casters just leave i don't know well then they just I guess I don't know. Yeah, maybe yeah. it's like a maybe it's like a once it's cast, that's the effect you, you get. Think, and you can I doubt it. Fuck you weren't. I doubt it though, because who's gonna find those fucking needles poked into the top of a fucking skyscraper just chilling there? You know. Right, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. But maybe there's some kind of energy coming off of them that you would be able to sense. You know. Mm. Yeah, maybe, mm. maybe. Yeah, yeah that makes sense too. To with it too. Yeah, good, yeah. good spot. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. But can so, we talk about the teamwork make the dream work in this chapter straight too, up man dude, wait a minute. i loved how they got it right cracking yeah bro. and it was yuji who did it was Ooh. yuji who deduced it wasn't it he was like wait a minute they're gonna be somewhere that's not obvious and then he kind of like just like was he the one that that decided that they were on the roof because i'm pretty sure it was his dialogue that was the last dialogue there before it showed them yeah he the said room. somewhere obvious and then the last panel is him looking up yeah okay yeah. so it was yuji who figured it the out the tower panel yeah and then the next panel is the dude standing on i the love top. how smart yuji is and you can really see like yeah. his growth and development like from the beginning of the series throughout this i mean he's always kind of like been a little bit quick on his feet he's not like, like a total dumbass yeah man. like he's like he's like no lat gang like 100 like like this motherfucker is on it i mean you he's know, not like thing. a a genius but yeah he's, he's, yeah he's competent like yeah. he's pretty smart yeah. yeah straight up and i just I, I i love that about his character because like for some reason like i would think that megumi would be the one to do something like that you know or something because he's kind of like shown as like the you know yeah, the rival the smarter secondary, one. The, the secondary main character you know like the killer wood to this guy's going or something like that you know what i mean but well it, has yeah. and that's the thing too even shines. in hunter it kind of follows that trope yeah I, it's a nice it's a refreshing thing to see the main character not so stupid yes in a, in a shonen even though comic. he's like a chad <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. like in, you know but like he's still he'll yeah. straight up <laughs> yeah yeah he'll, he'll he'll swing on you super quick but i mean he's still like you like you were saying like a little bit more competent than than we're used to which is nice to see yeah um i mean deku competent as fuck yeah 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 deku too is um yeah he's a, he's a good example of that too but it like the teamwork that we have here with like them coming in on the new way the new way like you just see the fucking new way behind the dude like mm -hmm. real quick i was like oh shit it's happening right now and then he she's got the fucking yeah he's got the fucking uh rope or the the the, the twine the, the, the maki like present like yeah the maki yeah, present wire, yeah. fuck yeah dude that shit is so That's fucking so, sick hell super yeah giant. comes in on yep. that yanks him off the fucking shit and then like wraps it up around him and then swings in through the building and has them Yo, let go has the the new way let go of it they like they hem him up and then they duck under launch this dude off that shit <laughs> yes. that shit fucking had and he has them dispel it yeah he has them yeah. 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 dispel them. new way yeah, yeah so yeah. he could just fall to his death yeah yeah well no i'm not talking i'm talking about before they hemmed his ass up as he was falling yeah. like they come up over the top and they like clothesline him yeah and like the dude grabs the lady ducks under but then they just like launch this yeah yeah they off. fling him and then they and, and, and then i think dead. they rewrap him again as he like oh, yeah. as yuji swings into the building yeah yeah dude, yeah they so he sick. 
well, what's he doing? He's like, yeah, he's because he's there in the air. And then all of a sudden, Yuji like, yeah, like yeah. kind of shows like this kind of motion around. Fuck him. Yeah. Hems his ass up, swings down, cuts the wire, goes through a building yes. or a window. And and Gege's awesome. perspectives that you know that they use like in these in these action sequences, like with Yuji in the building, like looking out the window is just like such a cool fucking perspective to get to. Like Yeah. Yeah, dude. The action and and and, and when motherfucking so buddy, what's his name, bro? When he Eno? pulled the mask. Oh, down. you know, yeah, he oh said my mm. God. <laughs> the Cobra Commander? Yeah, yeah, the, the, the Cobra Commander the from yes. 80s. Good. Yes, dude. Oh I had dude, I was not Woo! ready for it to be a fucking I wasn't ready for it to be a ski mask, that's for sure. But that's so fucking sick, bro. God, he looks like that's he's true. about to do so. So what do you guys think? So what do you guys and think is Jutsu Shiki? Height. He is? does look like he's about to do something. What? What do you guys think is Jutsu Shiki? Is? Uh, he holds up old ladies with it. I know that. <laughs> Just <laughs> mask up and take it. Just like, I don't know. Yeah. So it's got anything? In a fucking maybe alley maybe it doesn't have anything to do with the mask at all, and that's just girl. like his like maybe that's just like his Zoro thing where he just like yeah. puts that on when he's like about to start fighting. But and maybe his no. like two two. Nah, he's about to go crazy. This man, yeah, he's activating for sure with yeah. that shit. Mm. No, about to go crazy. He's about I, to his jiu jitsu he is mach machetes. And he's about <laughs> yeah, machetes and Timberland boots. <laughs> for real, <laughs> I think I think it has something to do with Molly and Percocet. You know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty confident that's the juice of Shiki's got something to do with that. Oh, shit. Yo, so. <laughs> holy shit, man, dude! I'm gonna be super like I don't know. I, I guess actually I feel like it would be fine, but like coming out of a chapter like this, I have a feeling that next chapter is gonna be like what Nanami is doing or like what a different group is doing, and it's not gonna come like right back to this, which would be kind of disappointing. But at the same time, it's like these characters are so amazing all across the board that it like doesn't matter who the story is focusing on right now. It's going to be tight as shit, and we're going to see characters do shit that we've been waiting to see for a while coming out of that hidden inventory premature death arc. So, yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm excited either way for, for what happens. I, love the, I really uh, wanted to go back to Eno next chapter. Yeah. Oh, I, hell yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was funny so, as fuck, man. too, when uh, when when Yuji runs up to, to Megumi on the street, and he's like, where is he? He's like, right there. <laughs> like, I didn't see him land. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, hey. He's like, you ain't fucked up. Get up, you lying motherfucker. He's like, oh, stupid mother. He's like, you think I'm a fucking idiot or what? That shit had me dead as hell. Oh yeah. God, he got up flexing like. Well, <laughs> yeah, and uh, we get to see fucking Fushigoro's. Um, it's like the Orochi serpent. Yeah, loading up, a, loading up a new Shikigami, bro. Fuck it's not new. It's oh, we've seen that one before. Yeah, he that tried to damn near be the thumbnail. God damn. Oh, he tried yeah. to he tried to hem up Sakuna with it. He tried to hem up sakuna with it that's uh one of one of his earlier ones you get to see but it's the only time you see it mm. yeah i, I forgot uh, yeah okay i think i remember that um i forgot all that that. I, if it's so if it's still the same fun. one if it's that orochi if it's the snake then i think it is yeah it should be so i'm definitely hyped to see that shit um yeah. You think they're about to get bodied here, or do you think they're about to handle this man? I don't know. I'm really excited to see what this fucking Netro ass dude has got under his sleeve. Because I mean, if and you're we wearing, even talk if you're really wearing shit like Eno that, you got to like, be tight, right? Like you got to if you're giving off Netro vibes and yeah. like breaking wire, yeah, with with brute strength, like yeah. you got to be. It's just cool that the situation on the ground is a two v one from like the protagonist and versus, to the antagonist, yeah. and then Eno up on the thing is a one v two. And we didn't even really talk about it that I was going to say, like, can he ha like, is the old chick going to fight? Is she cold? She's as got to be there. They the all got to be He's tight. Gotta be cold. All three of the everybody involved has got to be tight. The old well, lady most likely up. is going to be a support type for her grandson because that's her grandson, right? Yeah. yeah uh, and if, she's like in a sitting prank, you know, like kind of like stance too, like, yeah, I can see her as a support. But then she got the speed. She'll be like, Cha! come at your ass like <laughs> Or she'll just well, be Umo Gwei Gwei if I meet out. Umo Gwei Gwei. Umo Gwei Gwei if I meet out. Umo Gwei Gwei if I meet out. Yo, that shit it was fucking raw. Jackie Chan Adventures. That's right. That was that shit. Yes, it was, God. bro. Fuck but yeah. What if they fucking handle this dude on the ground and they go back up there and, and he knows out of here? <laughs> they're, just, they're just holding his ass up and he just. No, that is hell. They just got his head in his own Cobra Commander mask. Oh like, no, dude, don't do that. Don't do that, bro. 
threw that bag over your head for our convenience so we could just bag your ass up. Lop your shit right the fuck up. You know who's got hell a brand no. new bag? Hell no. No. Man, that'd be fucked up. I'd be sad as hell. Eno Brown out here tonight. Eno, <laughs> Eno Brown. <laughs> Eno Brown, holy shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh. We're going to keep using that one forever. Anybody, <laughs> get, anybody who gets a bag on their head. Uh, oh, okay. But yeah, so uh, I, I doubt it, though. Anybody who throws the bag on the head is not losing. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> no, the bag. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, Zazie, it took, it took like, it took a leveled lot. up leg Rivalima to kill Zazie. It took a uh, lot. To bro. get Zazie out of here. So yeah. bag head motherfuckers is. Yeah. Raw. They don't care. They don't care about their lives at all. They're ready to do everything. Who is takes. he on? Who is he on? Fat Albert? Is it Mushmouth? Yeah, or is it's it Mushmouth. <laughs> Mushmouth. <Yeah. laughs> I, was, I was trying to think like, which one was that with the bag on his head? <laughs> oh. Hell yeah, yeah man. But um, uh, that's all I had for GG. Yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah, think, you were, were you about to say something next? No, no, we're, I'm good. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, then I think we can move on to. Chapter 37 of Samurai 8, Rivals. This was an amazing chapter, too. Hell yeah. This, this was this was a, a great chapter, and I'd just kind of like to say, just jump forward a little bit. I know I know Keiko doesn't like to do that, but it's just <laughs> I just want to make this point. Hanaichi got that drip, Drippy, boy. Drippy. Man, I wish this motherfucking chapter came out like two, three weeks ago before we did the drip episode. Cause he's <laughs> yeah. in that motherfucker. Well, we've, seen, we've seen Hanaichi before already. He's, oh, he's, in, he's in chapter not one. That, not, not his actual... Um, his design, like Dharma in the, in the dream world or whatever, in the technological... Yeah. world yeah. where he's yeah, standing with dharma yeah we, no, no, we, we pretty, did yeah we pretty much gotten this exact same panel before in chapter one that's who that's who dharma fights in the first chapter well before we see Hachi, oh Hachi Maru true the but time. they're all geared up and shit no it's, they'll know they, they don't get geared up until like uh they have a conversation first and then they get and then their holders put the armor on them hmm he wasn't drippy like this, though. It's the same. It's the same outfit. It's the no, same guy. No, he wasn't drippy like this. <laughs> well, I mean, the art was the art was worse back then. With the yeah. black coat flowing, yeah, yeah. with the flaming coming like lion hold, bro. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, the art was the art was different back then, so like it, it wasn't as good. So like it didn't look as good. But I mean, it, they, he was wearing the same shit. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I have to go My man's look holder up. looking like a whole beast. Yes, bro. Lion, lion holder. Lion holder. Is that's sick. Yeah. sick one and that's and, and now okay. So now that makes sense that he's. That's the cat. my favorite one. I think. So now far. that makes sense that he's the cat samurai because I'm like, wait a minute. He's clearly a dog here. You know what I mean? And Daruma's the cat samurai, and I think that was like the the confusion that was supposed to be there. But I mean, like, if his holder's a lion, then. then well, yeah. and isn't Daruma like? He's got like dog. Yeah named abilities and like all he's, oh, he's, he's the dog looks, samurai too but he looks yeah. like the cat yeah. it's like the inverse yeah. of each other oh yeah 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 well yeah and look at his holder too it's a dog you know that is a, i'm pretty yeah. sure that's his holder because like it's yeah. showing the dude's holder that's got to be dharma's like original yeah, yeah for sure yeah wow. they're, they're like OG the inverse of each other yeah so all right well hey I, that was really kind of my first thing to even talk about is just how even though maybe we kind of knew it but not really that uh dharma and hainichi are rivals and that they really yeah. had the same goal yeah. and uh we learned that well confirmed because we talked about this last week on um whether hainichi is a good guy or bad guy in the squad and was he with ata when he dragon mouth blew the fuck out of ichigo's planet when that's they snatched what, up that's ichigo what was saying what was the situation right because i honestly didn't really i thought that, that was the situation kind of too i was kind of vague on it but once he said it, i'm like yeah that sounds like what happened mm -hmm. and i'm like oh, you know but were they but, like well so yeah the, i was a little confused on that too like what yeah. exactly did go but, down yeah there? but were now this conversation kill, that it's clear this chapter well, it's clear because Dharma says, like, I can tell from your soul is clear and pure. Like, yeah. I, I know you're not, you're not hiding lying. shit. You're not lying. Yeah. 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 So I'm saying, like, what went down with Atta blowing up those planets? Was he just doing it as, like, 
no, he, Potter because no. he's going. He's, can, he's I know. I think he was. Blo okay, I think Ata was he's trying to up. kill Ichigo. Yeah, for sure. Because he, obviously, so she's, she's a real key. He's yeah, trying to and, make synthetic keys. Yeah, and she's obviously oh, going to yeah. go to to Hachimaru. Well, she side. doesn't even have a key yet. Does yeah, she? I know, but she has. No. The, he knows that she has the potential, right? Yeah. So like, she and knows so does her Hane gravity yeah. level. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. And so does Hanaichi and Goku. So I think what honestly what happened? I think Ata went to go blow up the planet. Hanaichi has that information because he's affiliated with him, but decided to defect away to save, yeah. you know, from 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 the the side of Ata at that moment to grab Ichigo, you know, and maybe was affiliated with him at that point. I don't know if he was necessarily talking to him, you know, like or whatever, or maybe he was like when when he decided to blow up the planet with the angular warheads. But like, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Hanaichi and Goku were just there conveniently to go save Ichigo because they knew that Ata was going to destroy the planet and needed to grab Ichigo before that no, happened. Yeah, it was yeah. definitely premeditated. They knew yeah. that they had to go save her. They yeah. knew it. Yeah. For so. Sure. But I don't I mean, think that they necessarily like, were a what part if he of the team that decided he was going to defect no. right after he snatched her. Like, what if he was uh, presumably, not not presumably, but like, you know, um, pretending to be on Anta's side up until the point yeah. where he snatched the chick. Yes. That's what Nox is saying. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. yeah. And, and so and then that's, was just that's like, all right, awesome. I'm right now. But then Anta was just like, all right bow 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 like he knew he was no. going to snatch the chick and then he was just going to blow up the planets no no no, 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 no. wanted to destroy He's the planet with her on it. It. yeah that was always his plan that. no that's for sure his plan yeah. he's trying he can't to collect then he can't collect the key or anything he doesn't I mean, she want... doesn't have a key yet no 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 that's not it that's oh, not it she, he doesn't want a real key he's making synthetic keys that's why all their names end in kaku like hachikaku ichikaku yeah, yeah. Because they're in, and so is Hachimaru. Hachimaru is like a fake, a synthetic key, and a real key. Yeah, and he calls time. him Hachikaku. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And 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 because he's going to work around this key system, make synthetic keys to open the box himself, and that's why Hanai Hanichi and Dharma want to. Well, and that's why they're joining forces, even because they want to get the real keys to open the box, use that power to beat them. Yes, exactly. Boom, bingo, bango. That's, that's exactly it. what it is, and that's awesome. Um, but so, at the same time, I still don't trust these motherfuckers. <laughs> Even though Dharma says, you know, like, I can tell that you're not lying, that doesn't mean, like, that could be Hanaichi's, yeah. like, goal, but he could still have some ulterior motives against Daruma in that regard and have completely different motivations for wanting to unlock the box. And maybe they do definitely want to beat Ata together, but what happens after that could be a completely different situation than what Daruma wants. And Hanaichi could want a completely different outcome for the opening of the box than Daruma. So Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure Daruma doesn't want to use it to you know for for offense you know yeah. i guess i don't know i feel like he wants hachimaru just to be strong enough to just beat them yeah. on his own and whatever they get from that box or whatever more more so than anything maybe just not let anybody else use it to fucking kill everybody. yeah they want to maintain peace they want to use the box yeah. to make sure that the galaxy or that the universe is is peaceful and um call it or uh what's the what's the um the god that uh work that Ata works for akala akala yeah he wants Kala. to from what fudo Mio said a couple chapters ago wants to completely rewrite rewrite the universe and reform it in, in his image um and then and then so dharma you know obviously and them just want to keep the world you know keep the universe safe Akala wants to rewrite it. Hanaichi could have a completely different motivation on how he yeah. wants to use the box because that box is going to give you dominion over the entire galaxy, sure. no matter what. Yeah. In, in whatever you want, you get yeah. to do, basically. So yeah. he could have a completely different idea of how he wants to to use that box to control everything. Well, why do so. you think my man's out here scheming? Because, man. Uh, I have a feeling. Come on, you know it's clear. Because you know, he's black? It's... <laughs> <laughs> hey, bruh. He looks like a Doberman. I got, you know. He is a Doberman. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got some, I got some bad, I got some bad experiences with Doberman in my day. My grandma had a Doberman. He was a fucking <laughs> bastard piece of shit. And when, yo, you remember fucking grit? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Never mind. Anyway. My grandma had a Doberman. Yeah. And that motherfucking piece of shit bit me when I was younger. <laughs> You couldn't even go in I was trying to give, I was trying to give him a kiss. Why well, didn't want to ask, I was trying to give him a kiss. I already know, but I was going to ask you if you remembered Grandma's Doberman. Yeah. Max, he was a yeah. fucking bastard. <laughs> Tried to give him a kiss. And he said, ah. crazy ass Doberman. He said, huh? and his two 
his two fucking bottom teeth went in my nose into the schnoz top, both my nostrils <laughs> and his two top ones dug into my fucking forehead oh. <laughs> that shit man and I that's hated crazy that, that you're team since. doberman right now with on because Yo, uh, yeah you couldn't you definitely couldn't go in the kitchen that's crazy I, no i used to just like uh do the aura pow the power aura like intimidation and just stare at him and then from from the kitchen from far away uh, <laughs> and then he just wants to bite your throat even more he, <laughs> wanted, like, he wanted to kill anybody anyway like, that's just how that dog well, dobermans go crazy that's just the yeah, thing so so, like, so here we are thing where their brains here, here, we are. here we are with a doberman samurai and he's gonna go crazy he's about bro i, I don't know no, I, just, I, I just don't, I don't have no up. he's going crazy he betrayed his master he don't know what he's doing out yeah there. and he's like he's obviously wishy-washy ass motherfucker bro like already like i don't no, he's chilling he's chilling no. he's chilling and i don't i don't have no reason to believe that you know he's working against because i mean uh it's just a feeling bro come on you gotta yeah, trust yeah, me yeah, yeah. nostradamus out here it. it's <laughs> it's clairvoyant hours See, baby <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just so hard because when when Hachimaru is the key, yeah. like how are you gonna take it from him? You know, like right. because you have Ichigo who is just as who they're talking. He he was talking to Ichigo like you're the you don't know it yet, but you're the strongest gal you know samurai in the galaxy. He could be Ichigo that. will get her little head sliced. The hey, fuck we don't know once she, she once she turns into a samurai. Well, I bet you she's about to be glistening. Ball. <laughs> that's tight though that there's gonna be a a, a key samurai that's a, a a little a chick you know yeah dude for sure i'm super excited about that well and we speculated so something... a little bit on it but I, I think we pretty much said clearly that we i, I don't know if i don't want to put words in your guys mouth but i feel like sanda sanda is the other key and not ryu because yeah i thought yeah. so too yeah, yeah. because yeah. of uh the fact that now we know that you can be See, he but was, I feel like that. But they would say they would say like they see his gravity level or something. You know? Yeah, but I don't they know. just haven't had that conversation yet. Like they could still yeah. next chapter be like, so Sanda, like when are you going to become a samurai? Because your gravity pressure is crazy too. You know, like we could get yeah. that dialogue. Like they, so. they said in this chapter though that that Ryu is the other key. Oh, did they, they say that? Yeah, I couldn't. Or I mean, her. maybe it's like not. I don't think they kind of addressed it. Maybe it has to do with being a key because, like, I was gonna say, not every samurai has to have super strong gravity, but maybe no, 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 it's the key, yeah, yeah. Because I was gonna say, Dharma doesn't even have like his gravity is what twelve hundred, four thousand. Yeah. Oh right. yeah, four thousand. I thought it was yeah, yeah. But yeah. um, but yeah, going into this like Goku, uh, Anne and Hachimaru love triangle that's being established hold up, right hold up. now. No, I think that's the most important thing we need to address is. Putting the shoes and get on a little her. hot and bothered. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Hey, that hey, that that man's My game. My man's trying to slide in. That man's game is undefeated, bro. He said everything right. The light bro. skin god. <laughs> yeah, right. Fuck yeah. Who, who's that? <laughs> Goku. What's his name again? Goku. Goku. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, Goku. Yeah, Goku. Yeah. I thought oh, the little yeah. girl was named Goku for some reason. Ichigo. Um, um, Ichigo. You guys. <laughs> she is. I won't say that that's what's happening. I don't want to. I don't want to go that far. She's no, feeling him for no. a second, bro, and, and that's and, why. That's why Hachimaru got the in the in the background. Like he sees yeah. that she's feeling her a little bit, or that she's feeling. She her did a little get bit. that little exclamation point, man. She she's got the little blushy lines under her shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. She's, I don't know. It, I it's think it's not more, gonna happen. Well, I no more so than she's anything. Loyal. Like, but she's walking over there to see, like, why is he the one making tea? Like, that's my job. You know, like, yeah, and and like that conversation wouldn't even have started if he didn't go over there and start making tea to begin with. Like, he, it wasn't, you know, premeditated, I don't think. And it also wasn't, uh, you know, her, I, I don't know, I think it was, I think it was more curiosity. And then she's kind of like, this is weird. Like, this is way different than like what I know. Yeah. You know, what I, what I know of. And then, of course, yeah, once he starts saying this shit, she's like, okay. okay <laughs> yeah, wait a know. minute. A little debonair, suave, Rico Suave. But it's it's cool, like getting this, like, kind the of the like, bang flowing down in the front. With yeah. The, uh. <laughs> I just, I just love this kind of like dynamic, right? Because it just like reminds me of Inuyasha, you know, like Inuyasha vibes with fucking like Koga and, and Kagome and like Inuyasha's like love triangle and shit. So, like, I've been, I've been wanting another. You know, kind of situation like this, I guess, and I didn't even know it until this chapter. But, like that's one thing that I really like, liked Rico about him. Yeah. Suave, like he like, kind of was bad. though. Like Who? He, K Koga. Oh, Koga uh, was Koga put put some had a good mouthpiece, bro. He was saying good words to Kagome. Like Kagome almost 
almost really threw it at him a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't. I, he, he uh, yeah, he kind of just really uh, threw it. At he him. just kind of scared Kagome into liking him, you know. Like I'm about to throw your ass in this little dungeon over here by all these skulls and shit, <laughs> and all these I'm rats. Feed you in these fucking wolves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I just I, open. I just, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just really don't want our beautiful, poetic, noble land mermaid to be. We can't. She's, she's faithful. She's she's loyal. <laughs> say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Beautiful, poetic, noble land mermaid. <laughs> Hachimaru going to hit him with that. Ah! Dude, we need we need shirt. I need shirts with these on them. <laughs> like drawings of these descriptions. I wish I could say like the long ones. The long oh. ones are hard, man. It's just like oh, but, there's yeah. longer ones. There's there's where she just says like a whole damn paragraph almost oh, to her, and you're just like, God. I oh need to rewatch Parks and Rec so bad, dude. I, that's so funny. It's oh. like one of the wife's go tos though. to go to sleep, so I see it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Even but, Dharma yeah. though, comparing the two, Hachimaru getting upset. Yeah, what's up, Dharma? Shut the fuck up. He's like, I'm about to squardo yo bitch. That's ass. your guy. I was mad because yeah. everybody did. It wasn't. Ju it was like everybody in the room is hating, and I'm like, "Hey, watch when I open this box. Then what, bitch? Then what? <laughs> well, watch me just cut this little girl right here. Then what? <laughs> <laughs> well, Goku's a key too, so he's chilling. I mean, yeah, it's... but he ain't got no princess or a holder. So I right. Yeah. So you bitch. No, no. Off. I think Goku does have a holder. I think that monkey's his holder. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah right. That, yeah. that makes sense. That yeah. would make a lot Bubbles? of sense. Yeah. Why? Son Goku Kong. Yeah, yeah. Son oh, Goku true, Kong. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. That, that, but yeah, dude, I wonder For what his second, fucking monkey's got. Like, like, go imagine his armor. Direction. He's like, yeah, Wait that would a make a lot of sense. Dude, that means that, go that, means that Goku Samurai Soul is Ruyi Jingu Bang, bro. Yo, if that's true, ooh. But no, he he squared up for it for a second. But like that doesn't mean it can't like it was he, a samurai sword. Yeah. It was a samurai sword, but he doesn't have the, the the holder didn't activate his like armor on him. So once he goes into full, mm, and I'm thinking of a Nilebo. Shout out, class, Ayuki. Rest in peace, bro. Rip, big it. ribs, dude. That sucks. Yeah. I was thinking of like so. I mean, this is slowly but for surely turning into fucking Fuck you know. Shogi. <laughs> no, that's not even the one that that. No, took that's over not the one that took over for. But I was like, oh, fuck Shogi. Where are we going with this? I'm, <laughs> like, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Shogi. Was, I'm not okay. <laughs> what were you gonna say though, Kiko? That I'm thinking. Okay, so since this story is going into you know Gundam Power Rangers world uh, <laughs> with the with. Gundams everywhere. Um, what? Everybody turns into a Gundam. I was thinking of fucking Goku's Gundam being just some big ass fucking ape where he just go. Yes, bro. Nah, no With heavy He's heavy going, point. That would heavy be point. Optimus Primal from Beast Wars. You yes, know? bro. Or uh, or remember that one weird um, uh, Power Rangers movie? I think it was the first one they ever did where they turned into like Shaolin monks for a little bit and then got like the. <laughs> it's the only one I ever saw. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the one with Ivan Ooze, right? Yeah, the one with the lean. That's when lean became popular. Yeah, yeah dude. But yeah, there was like was the, the there. black the black ranger had a big ass monkey. <laughs> had a big ass Damn. monkey sword. Or no, maybe it was a frog. It. Maybe it was a maybe he had the frog. No, because I think the green no. I can't remember. Well, one of them, or maybe I am thinking of, of uh Beast Wars and and I'm just combining the two. But oh, that really? would be fucked up if the Black Ranger had a monkey sword. <laughs> that would be so fucked up. I hope that's not true. Please search that mm. real quick. But... Right, I'm about to look. <laughs> we gotta confirm here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cause that's no, cause I'm pretty sure the black. I'm pretty sure the Black Ranger was a fucking frog or some shit. But a frog yeah but uh i don't know yeah uh, there was a frog yeah i'm pretty yeah, sure but i don't want to say it was the green ranger because i don't even think the green ranger was in that movie i'm pretty sure he was the white ranger and it was a tiger but yes i think that's right yeah 
this shit ain't showing me easily. Yeah, so I'm anyway, moving on. Yeah, but um, I mean, I don't know. I don't even have that much to say, more to say about Samurai 8 anyway. I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing an Ape Zord here, I think. No, what color is it? Black. No! Power <laughs> Rangers, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. So in Mighty Morphin, the Black Ranger gets a gun. And then in the movie, he's an ape. That's wild. They're tweaking. And they were supposed to be Tengu warriors. Yeah. I do not remember that shit at all. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever. That's fucked up. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Samurai 8, baby. What a chapter. That was great. Um, I'm good on I got, Samurai 8. Well, there's a little bit. There's a little bit more. Um, well, Atta, 1v2s at oh the end. Oh, my you know? God. Of course. How could we forget about and Atta going crazy? Collecting keys, cross right? Cross cut. So, so think, yeah. Well, are both of those his holder, the dragon and the fucking, you know, Gundam he jumped out of? Well, yeah, uh, I mean, we can have multiple holders. We figured that out. So, yeah, yeah I'd assume Ata's got a few on deck. Yeah, because Daruma has the turtle and he has the dog, right? Yep. Yeah. Or the horse. Or the No, he hijacked the horse. I don't know if he has his, like, original holder mm -hmm. still. I uh, did at some point, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I or don't maybe know. He, I think that horse was left there. That he like he left it there, and then no, 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 because he came and tamed it, and then le and then left with it in like he, the first couple he chapters. with the horse, but he's also yeah. got the shape. I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is. I wonder who's. I wonder who's rolling with Dharma. I bet you Ata's got Dharma's holder. That thing that he what was it? His that... original dog holder. Somebody's got to have it because yeah. like they stick around, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So they call they call Daruma's or not Daruma's uh Ata's holder Soruken. Soruken? I think that's yeah, I, I think don't, I remember that, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just looking at it. It kinda does look like a dog. Uh oh. Uh oh. Which yeah, one? that that what Ata's rolling with right now in this chapter. Fighting with Soruken. Where he he cross cuts him, you know, two v one or one v two wrecks the, the two guys oh, at yeah. the end. And then that looks like a dog that he's jumping out of. Dude, Ata just stays crushing strong samurai in the vacuum of space. Like, one shot. Like, don't fight this man in space. Yeah. <laughs> he's too cold. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter where it would be, but it's just funny that he just, like, has all of these, these kills out in the vacuum like that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. yeah, that shit was That's... crazy. So he's collecting keys, too. But, I mean, like, I, I can't remember, like, why, like, he was... Like, oh yeah, and that and that reminds me, like we didn't even really get to talk about it, but like once we got the information from like Fudo Mio O and like Daruma inside of that like space that they were in a couple um chapters ago where we got like all of the, the Kongo Yasha moves and shit, like on the constellations, that kind of like lets us know, you know, like why um Ben K was able to is able to use so many styles because he's collected keys of samurai that have advanced their experience and their levels and unlocked those moves, you know, inside of their fighting styles and you know have like reached those constellations and have those abilities and he can yeah. use them freely even though he's not a, a regular practicer of those schools is yeah. because the the samurai whose keys he took reached the levels to have those moves yeah. so that's yeah. really fucking cool too um, yep definitely yeah but yeah that's that's it I can't so, oh, yeah. before we move on just something one more thing about that whole dharma's holder thing um the holder sticks around and it also like keeps the 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 bone hilt right yeah right oh never mind never mind never Wouldn't mind it? because i was gonna say somebody's got his uh the bone hilt has nothing to do with the, the shit really though it's just like the hilt that you attach your samurai so i thought somebody had but doesn't that come from the holder though it. yeah it comes out of the holder yeah okay but i think it's just a hilt it really has nothing to do with like the power Oh, okay, I thought sure. somebody had Dharma's Samurai Soul, but that's not how. Yeah, it yeah, okay, okay. Anyways, yeah, we can move on to chapter fifty-seven of Chainsaw Man. Yo, my favorite chapter ever of anything I've ever read in this my life. Shit was <laughs> funny as hell, man. Like I was power, dead. power is just too fucking much, man. And power is the best character in the series. Yeah, and it's like, not it, close. Yeah just to, i mean do you guys want to just start at the beginning or what yeah, I, take someone to, if y'all want to take it from the top go ahead. Well, i was gonna say when it when it went down 
like they got smashed with the car yeah and like he like grabs his hand it specifically showed him like grabbing his hand and then they get Mwah! like yeah. laid the fuck out and i'm like oh shit like this was the plan like damn he grabbed his hand to make sure that he couldn't move and then his his brothers are fucking smashed oh. <laughs> Cause he can't die, yeah, right? Cause they're immortal. But then he's just like, Vroom. yeah. <laughs> and he's up against the pole, fucking slump. And I'm like, wait a minute. Mother. I'm like, wait, bro. Like I thought he was gonna regenerate. Huh? Yeah. No. I'm like, is he dead? And then he transforms back. I'm like, yo, this man is dead as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Like, wait a minute. Really wait a minute. What if he? Yeah. What if he reverted back just because he fell unconscious? But they are actually immortal, and they're going to re and they're going to regenerate good boy yeah, no know because his brother's too mad at the end he's wilding yeah, out they're too shook they're yeah. too, they're but too maybe mad that's just the, the quirk they have that like even though they're immortal like seeing themselves get fucked up like that to the point where they would normally well, die if they weren't yeah. the one the, the the one is timid and the one is aggressive right those yeah. other two yeah. right like yeah. and that's that's their characters uh, yeah. uh and that, that's their character so i mean i guess you could say that they're that's just how they act at that point but i don't know it feels like especially since uh well, actually, no, because one the, the one gets bodied right at the end. Uh, yeah, uh, yo, but they can, but they can like, still they can sploosh. still yeah they can still get fucked up and then now that they're dead, come back together again after the fact. Like once you think everything's all good, because that because that dude who's protecting Denji splattered his ass. Yeah, the dude with the white. I mean, we saw blood splatter, but we didn't see a a destroyed body, did we? I mean, it was implied. Blood there was a pool of the blood that's yeah. coming yeah, out the was, ground. Yeah, they could regenerate. They could regenerate if they really are immortal. But I think the and and that would make sense with like the writing of the story is to like lead us into you know a sense where we feel like we know what's going on and then it and then it ends up being like because like I could I could see Fujimoto being like oh you guys thought these guys were immortal well here's some comedic relief these guys are actually trash and they got washed but then oh whoops they regenerated and they actually are immortal I can see that kind of like twist coming into play. But I think it would be way funnier if they were actually just dead here and that this turned into a situation where like all of these assassins that are coming to get Denji just die before they get a chance to murk him. <laughs> and they just all and it's just like a rant 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 rant. You know what I mean? Like a one of the, <laughs> one of those like situations where it's like they've almost got him and then like some accident happens. That, like, <laughs> There's, there's no way Chinese Kenpo girl and Santa Claus are getting killed by some fake shit <laughs> no, like this. No, no, no. Santa Claus is going to be final boss with his little, like, man boy elves. <laughs> <laughs> his small child elves. That's going to be final boss. No, I don't. Yeah, I mean, it could be. He's going to come I, in on his sleigh of small children. That's head, that's, that's head by small children. He's going to have his little elves, bro. Better not happen. <laughs> um, I was about to say some wild shit. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably good. To do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably good. Probably good. Uh, but yeah, so this but, is uh, this, this is kind of why I want to start at the beginning. I didn't think we were gonna just wow out right from the, <laughs> all all the way to Buddy get splattered at the end. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> he really got splattered. Like all it, the the kanji just goes splat, blood flies, and then it's just a pool after that. And then, like, and buddy, then I think is. And his other brother, who's timid and throwing up right there because he saw his other brother die, yeah. changes back into the guy that he was as a disguise so he doesn't get killed by that devil hunter guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 then the dude walks off like, yeah, see, a real professional wouldn't be throwing up. Like, so he doesn't, he's like, you're actually a regular guy, yeah. basically. Yeah. You know, because, you know, this isn't how anybody who is in my line of work would act. Right, right, So, right. So that... All that was super tight, and that was a really great way to end the chapter. How about let's go back to the beginning a little bit here. So uh, um, we got to talk about what car, you know, like <laughs> yeah. power, power literally deboed her car from her life. What car? Jeez. Where is that? Where? And then, and then she's like, "Oh no, no, that's all good. I got a license. Everything's fine, you yeah. know." And then, man, bam! I promise <laughs> you, I have a driver's license. Yeah, and then, and then, cra good. and then she crashes the fucking car. And then Bro, she's up on the sidewalk too. If you look, she broke through the rail and went all the way on <laughs> yeah. the fucking sidewalk and could have smacked a bunch of people. Grand Theft Auto <laughs> power, Grand Theft Auto mod. But and no. then, <laughs> but she's like, "It's your car, so it's your fault." You yeah. know, like yeah, you're not trying to place the blame on me, are you? <laughs> <laughs> and then and then she's like, oh, oh, that's that's fucking one of them devil hunter guys. See, I knew it all along. Yeah. Praise me. I'm the best. 
everybody fucking, you know, they were tricked, oh, but not me. <laughs> I got him. You're so uh, amazing. Oh god, that's so oh, good. Porco, uh, por dude, Porco Benny, dude, she can't catch a break. I'm glad that like her and like the violence. Devil <laughs> I'm glad her car got smashed. Yeah, right? well, I mean, like I'm just glad that her and the violence devil are cool and like they're like friends, so that she yeah. has like someone in her fucking corner because like, dude, she yeah. goes through like way too fucking much, bro. Like, stop being so scared all the time. Oh my god, man. But I, dude, I can't wait until she actually like activates though. Yeah, yeah. Because like maybe, maybe like maybe her, maybe like what if her contract has something to do with like how much she goes through like turning into power? You know what I mean? Like all of this bad luck that yeah. she has and all of these like traumatic like experiences that she has like is fueling her attack. You know, basically, yeah. it would be super fucking cool to find out. Because then it's like I'm feeling bad for someone that is just gonna turn that into a boosh anyway. <laughs> you know, like if I just go back and look at these panels I'll start dying I, swear, I don't even gotta read the words I'll just look at the panels this bitch literally drove through the fucking guardrail all the way up in front of the store up in front of the newspaper stand <laughs> and there's a Smashed big ass a big dent. ass dent in front of the car they hit oh. those two hard as fuck I feel, like <laughs> I feel like she hit Denji on purpose I feel like she drove the car into Denji on purpose oh. she, she had to have Oh There's my no God. way she didn't. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm tripping and just adding that for my own comedic purpose. But oh. I feel like that's something power would do. Fuck yeah! It's fucking like, hilarious. This looks too. like my car. Isn't this my car? Are you a thief? <laughs> like she starts calling fucking Kobeni a thief to try to steal her own car from her. Like, <laughs> Hell yeah. Then she's like, it's mine, you know. And she's like, uh, that's the driver's seat. Uh, please, uh, can I drive my own car? No, this is my car, bitch. And then, <laughs> yeah, and then she said, like, this is your car. This wasn't my fault. Yeah, that's like, what are so you doing? Funny. What the fuck were you doing, you crazy bitch? What the <laughs> hell? Dude, how dare you? Wow. How dare you? Automatic, there's fucking automated people car. all over the sidewalk here. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. Uh, and then it's, oh, wait, this was all my plan again. God, that's <laughs> fucking genius. Yeah. So, Fujimoto. Yeah. What's it called? Now what's it called? The, the the brothers are they're coming back. I don't know. I think. I mean. I think. That, I think that would be cool. But I mean, it's also. I think it, it'd be it funny also. If they were out of here. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. It's also like super funny if they're really just dead because then that just makes me think that all of these assassins are just gonna get accidentally killed before they even they get might... a chance to attack Denji. You know. No, I, mean? I, I think At the two Tolka are dead, and the the other Tolka and the other dude kind of have to because like you get caught one more time with that nail, you out of yeah. there. Yeah, no, no, no. And, but I can and, see him going up with the nail and then fucking. But at the same time, powers walking around like, with some kind of accidental. Just powers just gonna accidentally kill all the assassins. She drops the piano off the yeah, fucking yeah, twenty yeah, stories yeah. onto him. <laughs> but uh, at just the same starts... time, if you kill Denji with the nail, can you just like rev him up and he comes right back? I don't know. I don't know. Or is that I think that, I think that Denji like, have a contract with this, so he's done for for good. I think all of Denji's like ways of like coming back are like tied to like regeneration and not like it's not like a <sighs> phoenix down where you're dead and then you come back to life like because you revved. It's you're not dead yet and then you rev and then you regenerate. Yeah, I mean that could be that could be it. Um, yeah, I don't think Denji actually dies and then comes back by revving. I don't think it works like that. But I mean. We don't have a hard confirmation on it anyway. That's just like my takeaway from like any time that he's ever. Yeah, had no, he because he drowned himself with Retze. Um and then Beam. Did he Beam revved him up and did he did he did he drown to death or did he just lose consciousness because he drank he inhaled too much water and then he revved him back to a conscious state? Yeah, I don't know. Hard to say. Yeah. I think we just gotta wait for that info because yeah. we'll get it. Yeah. I'm sure we'll get it, but uh, back to the back to the brothers. I think the two brothers are legit dead, and the timid one is actually the one that's actually strong, and he's about to take these feelings, stop throwing up, and do something. Yeah, uh, let's go. You know, Here so for it. buddy with the smooth hair though is crazy. Kosuba, like, or, what is what is he about? Like uh, the dude the, who splatted with, the dude with the white jacket, yeah. with the white yeah. jacket. <laughs> he got some drip too. Yeah. Fuck okay. yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah. Cool he's like, I mean, fuck like, that suit and tie shit, dog. I'm on this. Yeah, like we know that everybody in 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 Denji's security detail has to be tight. You know what I mean? Like they wouldn't just appoint, you know, like fodder to to protect Denji if if, if he's such a prized, you know, 
target you know what i mean so like we know that they're all tight but it's just like when are they going to get their times to shine and it, there's just going to be a lot of comedic you know comic relief like in 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 the downtime because this is a funny story so right. know what i mean everybody's got to be tight that he's rolling with yeah fuck yeah. Hell yeah that's all i had though that's all i had for chainsaw man as well well with that we can move into the promised neverland chapter 166 going back home yes they really had an efficient ass tactical deployment battle plan on ready and cracked that shit off without a fucking hitch like here for it bro like they dropped in like flashbang they ass yeah the flashbangs the run out <laughs> lock themselves in the <sighs> Like, bro, that shit was hard. I'm Fuck like, yeah. God and, damn, and they just, on this shit. And like I've been saying for the last couple of weeks, and like once like Ratchery kind of like re-entered the scene and like, you know, and especially since Isabella like re-entered the scene too, like the series is moving back into that like psychological thriller situation that it started as. Yeah. And like, even though the mystery element, you know, like is gone basically because of how much we understood. Because I mean, like one of the, one of the, the things that made the series as incredible as it was, was that mystery element because we didn't know anything about the world outside of Gracefield House, but we knew that there was so much to it. You know what I mean? But now we know like pretty much everything about the world. You know, so so a lot of what made the beginning of the series great, you know, is gone. But like even now that Isabella is back into the fold and especially coupled with the Ratchery situation, like it can still move back into like that hardcore battle of wits light that also made the series great. So like even though that mystery element is gone, like I can still feel like this being just as good of an arc as, you know, as Gracefield House, yeah. you know, potentially if you know, Kai Shirai really, you know, plays his cards right, you know, on the writing, which I have no reason to assume that he wouldn't, you know, the end of the end of the series is what you are the most excited to, to get to, you know, once you started, you know, a series. So I feel I, like we're a little bit away, a little bit a ways away from like back to like real psychological thriller there. Yeah. Like you're a saying a little bit of it there at the beginning with like the, the plans they both had, but it can turn like kind of battle here quick they they have a vaulted door that they need to break that peter and squad need to break into to overthrow to get them I, I feel like they have the supplies in there too like the food supplies i don't know if that was correct i, oh, I don't know man if they do then they could just wait them out yeah i i feel like that is kind of what their plan is and have them forced to you know try to break in through that that and then they're just gonna, you know, uh, spray and pray once they get it, you know, <laughs> you know, it's just 360 like, degree it's motion, <laughs> and like, and and that's, you know, like, so Why we have to get past that yeah. before we can get back to the psychological thing. But you're right, like, just man, I, if if there's gonna be psychological thriller elements, it's gonna be Isabella versus Peter, yeah, very yeah. soon, yeah. very very soon. Yeah. And you can you can I, I really get the feel that Isabella was happy with how shit was turning out a lot of smiles there's only one where she's like trying to look at them sternly and that's just a her versus them yeah just to let them know like i'm back baby <laughs> but but any other time you saw her she's smiling she's yeah. smirking like she thinks that this is good for her position like yeah. her plan whatever yes. she's she's scheming up yes. to so and that already, and that's kind of like a callback to like the crone versus isabella in the gracefield house art too you know what i mean like, yeah. there could be a war on multiple fronts for like all of the parties involved here you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because like Isabella yeah. can have motivations against Ratchery and the kids. The kids can yeah. have a plan against Isabella and Ratchery, and Ratchery yeah. can have a plan against you know Isabella everybody. And everybody. You know what I mean? So yeah. like, it could really turn into something really fucking crazy here. But I mean, like this kind of goes back to what I was saying about how Isabella ultimately does not want to be a part of this system anymore and she's already said that oh, yeah. you know with her with her with her moment in the dungeon i mean are any mamas you know yeah, like yeah yeah i mean like ultimately you want to you basically want everything the cattle children want but you understand that you're in a position above them so you just take what you can get you know in the better position yeah, right. that you have with this oppressive force controlling yeah. everything but if isabella can see that the tides have shifted you know significantly since the start of the story and that these kids are making major moves towards you know liberation then like she could be like like Hiko was saying ready to overthrow Ratri and join the kids if it's not a I say fuck it yeah if it's not right. a me versus the kids and or, kind of situation or overthrow them. 
or overthrow Ratchet and take that shit over herself, and she'll be Queen Grandma. Oh my God, bro! I just want to believe that she's gonna have a, a crazy redemption this arc, you know, and not just be, you know, like a tweaky, you know, evil bitch. You know what I mean anymore? Because like this is her moment <laughs> if, if she ever had one. You know what yeah, I mean? So, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, so, I mean, that's that's kind of like the biggest thing to take. Obviously, what we've already talked about, but some of like yeah. the smaller points is like I love them mapping it out. You know, like it yes. it almost felt to me like like a '90s rap skit or something where they're talking about going to like you know, you know, Big Poppy. We got him. You know, I got to run up in here, and you yeah. know, he got he got Mad Boy while I was running with him, and you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> mapping out the whole shit that they got to do. We got to map this out right, you know, yeah. and then they, yeah. they jump, you know, and then they jump in, and it's like you know, it it is all the all business and you thought of course that they were going to try to escape and yeah. then they, yeah they that threw, was incredible and they you know threw through the uh you know wool over the eyes or whatever the fuck and yeah, uh pulled the rug out from under their ass and like, it, we and wanted it, this and they make it so you know ratchet's got to kick in the door and wave in the full foe and he's not gonna be able to do it i think that's the beat right yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, and where the fuck is Phil? Oh my. Bro, where is Phil during all of this? He's in the chair. Bro, bro. I know, bro. He's going to hit the. <laughs> he's, bro. He's yeah, I swear, yeah, we've yeah. been joking about it, but like all of these chapters back at Graceville House without Phil. Wait, no, he's going to be the ultimate hostage, isn't he, at the end of all this? I don't know. We haven't seen him, which Dude, is. Dude, Phil is either on some kingpin shit. Yeah, no, he's that's that's uh, he's some... got him in the cage in his personal office. No, he's... no, he's on some third eye pyramid shit, some Illuminati, you know. Here, he's with the know. king demon. He's with the king demon shaking up. Sick him, was what him we doing. yeah, the god, you know, <laughs> him and the little god, they're out there, you know, playing. I said, like, oh. Peter is Peter is the god. No, the dude, god Phil is, is the god demon. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. That's what I. That's what yeah, I was. What meant, I yeah, guess. I think I'm pretty sure I said that. In the yeah, past. you did joking. say that. Phil, Phil is the god. Yo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be too much for my heart, bro. Because it's like, it's you like everyone it wants here? everyone. You de yeah. If that is the case, you definitely heard it here first. Ain't nobody else said that shit. I promise you. But like. But like, dude, because like everybody wants to know where like Phil is, because like Phil was like the main, like like when 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 Ratchet's forces first you know came in, um, I think it was the Cult of Video arc is what it was called. But um, when um, they had that older dude who was an escapee, you know, like that helped them out, you know, through Goldie Pond. I can't remember his name, but um, you know, when they came, you know, like when they were when when they were in a good position, the Ratchet forces broke into Gracefield House and grabbed Phil and got that information from him, and then you know, like ran up on him or whatever. And that was the last time that we saw Phil. You know what I mean? So like Phil's either like dead as fuck and has been for a while and they're about mm. to drop that bomb on him. Or like Yeah, Phil's out of there. Yeah. Phil already got shipped. <sighs> they already ate his brain. He's gone. No. no. But then but then but then yeah, no, it's, Valima, they we would have seen him inside of Legra Valima then. We, we they not because he was like super high scoring at a young ass age. So he was like potential to be like next next level like yeah, they like keep him. Um, yeah, they keep him till thirteen. Or wag whatever. you, motherfucking human. A <laughs> five wag you, human brain. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but holy shit, man! Like, what the fuck is gonna happen here? Okay, so like, uh, just a little bit more speculation on on like the future of the story, right? Because when you when you have them sitting there at the end, like we planned for this, but they weren't accounting for Mama though. So like. They, their entire plan is is contingent on just like Ratri and his demon forces and whatever human guard that he has but like seeing Mama there like kind of like makes things a little bit different right because like she like really really just throws a monkey wrench in their whole thing potentially because she understands these kids better than William does or better than Ratri does you know what I mean and yeah. uh, you know that could be yeah she could be like the whole like the linchpin of, the, of this dude's plan now that he's kind of like gone against their expectations right because Ratri is like okay they want to escape now and then he and then they're like nope we wanted to stay here so, and he wasn't expecting that so now he's like holy shit what do i do isabella and now his entire thing is going to hang on on isabella's knowledge and uh, you know and understanding of these children and that, yeah like Hiko was saying that could be a good turning point for mama to lead your for isabella to lead him into 
you know, because you're relying on me so much now, I'm going to... Oh my god, this is going to be crazy, fam. This could turn into some crazy shit. Yeah, there's no way that Peter doesn't eventually lean on Isabella's knowledge of the kids. There's, it's, it's impossible to, yeah. to to think that he wouldn't, you know. And and maybe he already has. And oh. is and maybe Isabella has purposely given him misinformation to lead this situation this way because she's, you know, everybody. She's fucking mastermind and all the shit. Puppeteering. And yeah, we'll Holy see. We'll see, shit, man. Bro, we can, we can, we'll see. Uh, Promise Neverland is back, baby. Yeah. It's good stuff. I I'm like here it. for it. I, I like where we're going yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Did you guys have anything else though? Nah, I think yeah, that's I think about it. I think I'm yeah. Good. With that, then we can move on to Buddha Kuroba, chapter two hundred and thirty-nine, budding of Yggdrasil. Yeah, we should and, skip uh, this chapter. <laughs> my son Klaus is clean. See, see <laughs> we gotta clean. We gotta talk I'm about this. Sad that the glass dude is dead for real though. Yeah, because the glass magic I liked a lot. But I mean, like, the when, was the last, when was the last time he was, was When was the last time Sharon he was relevant? Hammond? When was the last time he was relevant? Hamon. Hamon. Um, yeah. Can you guys remind me of the last time that that character mattered at all to the story? Oh, well, it's hard to say. Like, what? What? You know, like. That's why this. Death, that's why this death doesn't. Is, is is stupid to me because like sure. yeah Tabata needed a death here because he already hyped up like all of this like shit that he has been doing for the last couple chapters but to to give it to this character that and nobody can remember the last time he mattered at all so just there like, was there's 50 percent of the squad dead and yeah. there's two and there's two named you know got card makers that are dead. Wait, what's the other one? The eye of the midnight uh, Sheeran? Sheeran? Sheeran is the other one? Who the fuck is that? Well, exactly. Ugh. Like, that's that's what happens when you have fucking 10 fucking mage fucking, yeah. you know, groups and they're all fucking, you're supposed to get them all in in this amount of time. Yeah. Like, no. And and we talked about this last week. This is exactly what I said what would happen. Uh, that I said I was fine with what would happen. And everybody agreed that they would be fine with this too because, uh, Vengeance is is not probably full debt. Maybe he's dead. Whatever it is, they took no him, matter they took what, him with him somewhere. But he's a he's effectively dead because they're going to kill him and take his power. They're yeah. yeah, they're taking his magic. Yeah, they're taking yeah. his magic. So like he's effectively dead. So, so he he's died. getting what he deserves after his role in the exactly Elf Park, after exactly. doing what he could for the Golden Dawn. And half of them are still dead, even though we don't know who any of these characters are. And the two that we do know who they are don't really matter at all to the story and are just See, there so that we could have named deaths. And that's what, cool. But what that's Golden Dawn, what Golden Dawn mages are there that matter? There's only Klaus, Mimosa, you know, yeah. and that's it. And that's and, it. And Those walk. are only three. And Where's Mimosa? No. Why, why would Mimosa's? Because oh, we got, Mimosa's because she's Mimosa. in heart. Yeah, she's in heart. Because we've yeah, got, because we've gotten like Latoile scenes that have been like significant. Like she has like that really cool compass magic and she was yeah. relevant there in the last couple chapters. She's less relevant. Yeah, than she's Hamon. definitely less relevant than like everybody. No, else than Hamon, been. the other one that died, the glass magic guy. I, like the, I, I, the, I they're all. I don't remember that dude at all. None of them are relevant if, the if point, we. Up until the point where uh, he died and she didn't. She had less screen time than him. I'm pretty sure. Well, and that's oh, yeah. fine. Way like, I guess my main Way point. Less. I guess my main point is Pound that if you're pound. going to, I guess my main point is that if you're going to like introduce like stakes like this, like by like giving us like a chapter of these characters inside of Klaus and Latoile, like yeah. mattering to you know and like helping in this fight that seems yeah. like a really destitute situation, yeah, and then act like you're going to kill them and then kind of like fake that out, you know, in in such a easy you know like way. It seems it's like. It's just like I'm not like it's not a series ruining situation, and I'm blowing no, this no, portion. No. And I and I actually just want to say this real quick too because I sound like a Black Clover hater. I've been reading Black Clover since there was one chapter. Like I was a gigantic stand of this series when it started, and I think I told Kiko like right away when the series started. I was like, this is yeah. it. Like I was like this. Yeah. I was like I was like fam, and we were geeking over this shit for arcs on arcs. And I was one of the biggest like me and Kiko were the two biggest Black Clover fans that either of us knew when the series was jumping off. And I stayed on that you know for a while, but like. It, it just like after pretty much water temple, the elves. It, yeah and the, and the elves was the biggest let the down, elves but the pretty much since the water temple like my love for the series has been on the decline and then you know like ever since the time skip 
you know, it gave me a newfound appreciation for it, you know? So it was, it was lacking world building. And then we started traveling. Right. And, and then, and, the, yep. the, and since the time CF Julius was like, look, it's all of these areas. This is what they all do. And now we have a reason to go to them because ass is on trial and he can't be here anymore. That was great. That was organically like woven in and, and it, and it felt natural and it was great. That was the first time I was like, fuck yeah, let's go. Then the other thing that I felt this that year was, was a like, big moment. That was we went moment. other places already. But I mean, we, 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 we already we learned went, about spade and heart and we already earth. been to the diamond kingdom, but not in, not yeah. in depth, not in depth, but we were already there. And we had the whole witches forest thing and the whole, that's a whole nother, you know, area i mean i don't know like that's a whole yeah, other right. diamond kingdom existed but we were we hadn't been there but like the, the, no, the first the first the first dungeon you go to is technically right there on the border between the two and you get a map right. on what's happening and where and where they're going and yeah like the you, witch's force is what chapter like 70 80? it's right after water temple it's right after water temple yeah yeah and and you're right and but at the same time it's like that's another complaint that I have with the series is that past events are never referenced later. You know what I mean? Like, they, like besides the elf arc that is like you know uh, significant to the future of the story now because of how massive it was as like a saga. Yeah. Like yeah. previous things that have happened in the story are just done and over with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and 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 that's another thing. But I mean, and that doesn't really matter. But like we get the world building now, and that's great. We this this since the time skip, they're introducing stakes now, and like think people are are starting to die. But then like you get this you get this build up to you know this moment and like obviously we knew you know was going to be fine to some degree but like i was kind of picturing like if he was going to make it out of this that he was going to be maybe out of commission for a little bit and have to like to be taken somewhere out of the fight while other conflicts are going on and you know just not there because he got his ass whooped but then he just gets a full heal like you know what i mean just because he didn't die from the idrisil magic it just seems it, it, it's just yeah. a letdown and it's not series ruining i love the series don't get me wrong but it's just like these are things that i was really hoping for in the future of the story since this time skip that seems like it was going to give the series a more darker tone and like actually add some like real tension you know like back to the series because like so what really the only only person that could have died that would have made it work for you is klaus right i mean klaus said Letoile there just because they were in that, that i don't see why Letoile matters she's more inconsequential than hamon and sharon she's she's like, more inconsequential but there was that build up there from the previous chapter where they were all together and they yeah. all reunited with you know and it seemed like that, everything i guess was cool. that makes sense yeah and, and yeah and it seemed like everything was cool and then they get taken away that would have been massive right and like but just, all of them have were turned into elves they yeah. all got elf abilities like all these name characters you know yeah. and they're like the sharon and hamon like i feel like they're all in the same boat like i, I don't really care if any of them died you know, yeah, Klaus, well, right. Klaus, Klaus seemed to be the only one for me that you would care about dying other than vengeance, which is effectively dead, I would yeah. say. And um, I guess my main point is that, like, it doesn't matter if you care about the characters that are dying, but, like, the fact that they do brings the stakes to the story and lets you know that characters, oh, I agree, might, characters yeah. might not make it out of this alive. Because, yeah. like, it just seems like no matter what threat shows up in this series and no matter what threat they pose, the main cast and everybody that's important well, no matter what damage they take throughout an arc is just going to reset with higher base stats by the start of the next arc and like yeah. that's cool you know like if you just want an entertaining fun story but i mean like if if we're going to be like having this story competing with other stories in this new generation that's taking a completely different route in storytelling compared to the previous generation and it's actually starting to like give us like you know like more depth and more you know you know like like it just like a different it's, it's just a completely different like wave in the new gen now and i feel like black clover is a story that's like clinging to the tropes of the previous generation and just is telling yeah. a, a, a really campy story and i don't disagree with any of that what yeah. i'm saying is that last chapter in this chapter like I, this this all made sense to me like that's yeah. what i'm saying like i don't i didn't i i didn't think that this was ever going to be something where i i was going to be like emotionally invested i guess because yeah. th there, there was there's three possible characters that could could die where you're emotionally invested and, and still probably not even that high like you know is so like lethargic i guess that yeah. you you don't even care about him that much kind <laughs> yeah of. And, and, yeah. and 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 that's that's a problem a little bit but i don't know that's that's his style, I guess. I don't I know. It's hard to know. say. I would be crushed if he died, but obviously, you know, he's not going to because he's a secondary main character. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's gonna be yeah. there. He's gonna he's gonna be there all the way to the end. Maybe die at the very end, if anything. You know what I yeah. mean? But like, I Klaus is the only one for me where I would actually be hurt. You yeah. know, like, yeah. and 
any other character there, I don't give a shit about. And I never really thought Klaus was dying, just like I said last week. I said yeah. Vengeance is going to die, and he's going to use Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil magic to heal everybody. This is exactly what I said was going to happen. Yeah. Um, so that's why I'm just like, I don't know. I, I, it's not that I'm disappointed in this chapter, because it's like I didn't have that high of hopes for this chapter. You know, like, right. I don't know. I, I, I felt like... It sounds like you thought like some game breaking shit was going to happen. I would have loved it because it's just like I just feel like that's what the series needs. It like it's that's just, just like, not it's just, the it's just lacking in like the compel. Yeah. It's just not compelling to me. You know? What yeah. I mean? No, and, like, and, and that's just the series, and, and that's the sad yeah, part about. And, it. and the tension is there because like look at the threats that they're dealing with Dante, Zeno, or Zeno, and and whatever this girl is like. These spade motherfuckers are crazy. So like the tension is there because of the threats, but like considering like the way that the story has been like are you really worried about anything i guess is my question you really don't have any reason to be like i feel like tension only really matters if there's actual potential i mean there is i feel like i feel like tension only really matters if there's actual potential for consequence you know what i mean and if there's no consequences in your story then like it's just not it's not deep and it's not compelling to me and like that's what i need in these stories now and that's why like i put like you know black clover kind of like towards the bottom of like what i'm reading right now because it's cool for action it's 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 got good comedic elements i love a lot of the characters but it's just like not like i'm not waiting for it from week to week because i know that everything's going to be okay all the time i don't have i'm not worried about anything it's not compelling to me so, yeah, so I mean, well the consequence within the story is actually like huge like it's not yeah but to it's us, not, it's not it's not huge because none of the characters that we're personally invested with died, but like the number one magic, you know, magic night squad is wiped out pretty much. You know, yeah. like that's that's pretty huge within the story. That's yeah. that's a pretty massive consequence. That's the first consequence that I remember since Fuego Leon getting named. That's crazy. Like ask the lost arms yeah, for and then got two back. arcs. And no, he got him he got him back the next arc. Okay, and you we, could and, say and that's we knew the next he was arc. going to get them back before the arc started because the dude was like, "You're never going to get You're your right, arms right. back." But I well, know that's how like you a situation where it's like the MC, you, so you know. It's yeah, like, it's like that's not like anybody that's not yeah. a consequence. Yeah. Gone is eventually going to get his men back. Is you know, I don't know. I, I would not, shit. I mean, Gone was that. out for a whole arc, and like after he got healed by Aluka, he still he still doesn't have his men back to this day. Yeah, but it's he hasn't it's, been involved in the arc. Right. That's no. like that's. And, effect, and effectively five days has passed you know yeah, right in the, yeah. in the, in the, like in the story there's no way he would have been able to be involved even if he did have his nan because he's not he hard body well yeah you, you know you never no, know but yeah. i mean anyway yeah. i mean like <clears throat> even even if like other stories like lack in in consequence to that degree like in hunter characters die significant characters die regularly no yeah you know there's I mean? so consequence like, in hunter but it's yeah. like the mc trope i was mentioning well sure yeah yeah, yeah. You, so you, i i don't think that that hunter is gonna finish and gone still doesn't have yeah anything. yeah no definitely not but, yeah. but what i was saying though with fuego leon it's like okay that was an example of consequence but at the same time he was maimed and taken out of the story the same arc that he was introduced so it's like i didn't really care then he was gone for arcs and arcs and arcs and arcs and i'm like he was it was the same it was the same no 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 no, 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 oh. no no i know he was gone for a lot of arcs but yeah. no and that he, he got maimed and you know wrecked in the same arc but yeah. there was a, he had a lot of time in that arc to show you that that he's different he's different from all the rest of the nobles like they gave you yeah, a lot of time he had one fight. Yeah, but it, it wasn't about the fight. It was this interaction with characters that yeah. gave you, that, that gave you, you know, that, that made you care about Fuego Leon. You can't tell me you didn't care about Fuego Leon back then. I, like, I that's was like, that's when the series was cold. good. Yeah, it was when no, the series but, was good. And 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 that he he blew open the whole like nobles treating other people like shit thing yeah. because he's yeah. he's he's the same level as fucking you know Nozel and those motherfuckers. So Noel, like it ain't about it ain't about being weak it's about staying weak motherfucker. you yeah. gotta grow but i mean the, yeah. the bottom line of what i'm saying is that the, the story still seems promising even though this was a disappointing chapter to me it's not as disappointing as it's not as disappointed as i was when uh julius came back so at least it's not that bad and and honestly that was handled really well and that that was handled the best way it could possibly have been it could be. the explanation was actually very good yeah so, I'm, so and, and like i said like these aren't these aren't series ruining things i'm just saying like i'm giving justification as to why like i am upset you know with the series so far and 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 it's still promising that ever since the time skip i'm still here for it i'm still riding for black clover but like i said it like it seems like everything is going to be cool but like the tone since the time skip has been great but i'm still skeptical is what i'm saying like the history of the story definitely doesn't reinforce any of this current tension story. is what i'm saying yeah just it's just not that compelling of a story and that's yeah. just the end of the, end so, of the day uh, yeah straight up 
We've been on this shit a while. Sorry, actually. I sorry, shit would sorry. Be no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> this is good conversation. This yeah. is actually a very good conversation. Uh, yeah. Moving on from this, though, how do we think uh, Asta and them are going to fare against the uh, the princess? What's her name? Yeah, uh, uh, L- Laura Pochica. Yeah. No, yeah. no, <laughs> L- Laura Pochica, not not her. I'm talking about the the spade princess. Oh, Vanica. 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 That's a tight yeah. name. Yeah, yeah, and think, and and what if against? Do we think they're gonna get wrecked? Like, and like what if Mimosa is gonna die or some? Or or Laura Pachika? She she says right here, like, how's that princess doing? Like, she's yeah. coming for her right yeah. away. Like, what if yeah. she dies? You, you think know? the princess dies here? That would be Could nuts. Be. That would be nuts Good. because and Noel I mean, gets the water. Noel needs her sprite, so she <laughs> yeah. she's got to no. that one. Right. Yeah, oh, so, Noel yeah. gets the water spirit. Yeah, yeah, oh, that would be shit. that would be huge. Um. I feel like this is a time for all of these dark triad members to just wash whoever comes across them. And I feel like I feel like Tavich is going to send significant characters after each one of them. And it's going to be a rinse repeat of, you know, and the Golden Dawn versus um, Zeno. And then whoever is going up against Vanica are, is going to get washed. Significant characters are going to get washed there. Asta's probably going to run My into son, Dante. Yami ain't getting washed. So uh, y- Yami is getting washed. Yami's no, getting Dante's, straight. Dante, no, Yami's yes. not getting... Yes, you he think is. Yami's about to die? He better. No, I no 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 no. He better no 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 not Yami's die. Yami's not dying. He He's better get his up. shit pushed in though. Why? Yami doesn't have a loss yet. What if not? What if Yami does die? That would be lit. That would no, be crazy. That would not be lit. <laughs> yeah, I would be cra- like, dude. That Yami's Yami. my favorite character in the whole bitch, bro. That's kill the one. whoever. Don't kill. No, Yami. that's the one to kill. Mm-hmm. To be honest, no. Yami, Yami is the Listen one to, to kill. He's, he's right. He's right. Yeah, that ain't the one. Yeah, bro, Vengeance and Yami both dead, and you got to come back with some new, massive. some new captains. That some... would be massive because then you have Jack the Ripper. You know, and is you know, in his could because he loves Yami. I mean, even though they're like Zoro and Sanji, you know what I mean? Like that's yeah, his god. Yami's not dying. I just thought of fucking Charlotte Rosalie. Like oh. she's Yami's not dying, bro. Like y'all I'm squaring up next time I see y'all. <laughs> Yami's not dying. It was, I'm not saying not. I'm not saying he is or he isn't. I'm saying that that would be a very heavy consequence. If you want a consequence, that's the biggest one you can have in the story. Exactly. That's the biggest one you can have in the story. Yeah, yeah. that would be the biggest sell for readers is Yami dying. Because yeah, I feel like yeah. Yami's one of the most, if not the most, beloved characters. That's the tightest yeah. character in the whole series. Easily. Um, so, Yami. is um, so uh, <laughs> yeah, you, we got to talk about, okay, Yami's arcane stage, which, duh, right? Of course like, he is, yeah. And, and, and is... Man, Dante, like how this dude, nobody can fight Dante. Like how how is Yami even gonna stand a chance? Like we gotta see his magic because like I mean like like Yami having I mean, like dimension I, dimensional. He's got hundred percent, I think, like Kiko said. Yeah, but I mean like Yami having like dimensional abilities because like Yami was like the main like one of the main deciding factors as to why the devil died in the previous arc with his busted ass magic. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, so, but like, he's got a lot of channeling time for his dimensional slash, so there's yeah. no way he's like busting that bitch out. Teamwork make the dream work in this series, bro. You get a little distraction going. You hit some fucking, like, you got a couple of motherfuckers with some sylphs out there, you know, like, or spirits, you know what I'm saying? To, to, like, cause them to, and then Yami just, like, loads up the king punch in the background, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and gets it ready. Like, you never know. I don't know. Um, but I feel like I feel like Yami just has, like, true damage inside of his dimension cutting slash. You know what I mean? Like, sure. that's, that's going to go through whatever because it's a dimensional situation unless this devil um user dante has dimensional abilities too you know what i mean and that would probably be a pretty nice counter to to like to to what yami can do and we might be able to see something like that because like it doesn't seem like anything should be able to stop dimension cutting no yeah you know what i mean obviously yami sounds pretty broken yeah but yami couldn't fight the devil the whatever the you know devil devil. yeah yeah Yeah, yeah he couldn't cut like through i mean he could cut through some shit but like it's not like he could you know damage that devil so he ultimately did with his dimension cutter it, it got through to a certain degree but he was like it was a it was a combo attack with asta and you know yeah. and, and everything but i mean like he, he was the he was the catalyst for their attacks to go through because it was cutting through dimensions and that's why he was, they were able to get through that busted ass magic for asta's and you know the yeah. so like yep. yeah yeah 
Sounds sounds weird. Like so, dimensional cutting or cancelization of abilities. It's like, what's the difference, right? Like, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> like, why do we need two of you to go through this thing when both of you do the same thing with different names on it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. That's that's, that's about it, though. Black Clover, yeah. yeah. With that, we can move on to My Hero Academia. Chapter 260, Life's Work. Clairvoyant Hours. So, <laughs> yeah, so cracking. before 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 you get ridiculous. I'm here, not going to get in uh, my bag yet. So this doctor's just been <laughs> wait, alive for wait. like, what, hundreds on, of wait. years? No. Well, no, no, no. no, no, no. no. Let, let, okay, go, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, just the cover. I mean, well, that's, that's, the, that's, yeah, it looks great, but I just have kind of a problem. I mean, not really a problem. It's just, okay, we're at Jakku Hospital and we're at Gunga Mountain Village and they're 80 kilometers apart, yet we're really only just at the hospital because we ain't going to talk about what's <laughs> happening at this fucking villa at all, which, which is, is fine, but I, I just, I was like, yeah, that was kind of weird, wasn't it? I was like, why do we even do this? Like, we had all the hype for the hospital in the last chapter. Why are you even telling me about this other place? I don't give a shit probably about. Because that's to... gonna play a big role. Yeah, sure. That's but probably like know. that's probably the Endeavor death flag. I don't know. I don't. Oh shit. I I don't know. Um, but that's that's the question that you're, you're Eagle. You're right, going down the right path of so. Why does the doctor slash twice his clone get older when he gets hit with fucking intimidate? <laughs> intimidate yeah, <laughs> he gets hit with eraser, eraser gun. Oh, 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 yeah, he, yeah, yeah. If he's a twice clone, if, when he gets hit with eraser, why doesn't he just instantly? Live? No, well, they because say he's not, because that, he's not looking at twice. No, it's not even yeah at twice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, exactly yeah. Right. He explains he, why he, that happened. Yeah, he yeah, can't, he can't the dispel the clones by that. looking at them. Yeah. So that was good info for twice. Twice is broken. Uh, yeah. Uh, and 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 um, but, but why did that. the doctor? We so, knew but that on the is, first explanation of Eraserhead's ability that we got, he has to look at the at the the motherfucker who's using the quirk to stop his quirk from from working. They retain the, yeah. the clone retains the quirk though. So like he's got this. They yeah. Said, they talk about this super the hyper regenerative quirk. Yeah. That all the Nomus have, yeah. and it it's implied that it comes from him. I think. So what? He's just got this hyper regenerative. It's always regenerating his cells, so he never gets old. That's why I was saying he's. I don't think he takes the quirk. Of years. He's been all for one's right hand the whole time. I don't think he takes the like the clones actually take the quirk of the person they're trans uh, transforming into. I think he just keeps twice his quirk and can transform himself again. Can he? Mm. No. So. So only if it's a clone of twice. If he makes a clone of a like, remember when he made the Dobby clone in the forest arc, and the Dobby clone was fighting uh, Eraserhead. Oh, yeah, with, that's with broken. Fire and shit. <laughs> that's broken. But it, may, but it makes sense though, because like like Aizawa can't look at someone's quirk. Oh yeah, that makes sense yeah. one thousand percent. But yeah. it's it. I don't know. Like you could have went either way with it. Like if he looks at the quirk, the quirk just turns to mush and just dies. Like like yeah. because he uh, erased it. You know. Yeah. And I I know that. Yeah, that's the explanation we got. He's got to look them dead in their eyes to erase. But, you know, like, I, I would have been fine if he could just dispel clones because I feel like Eraserhead is underpowered. He needs a little, he needs a, you know, he, yeah. needs, a hit, he needs to hit a new level here. I think, but, he, I think it's his experience and his usage that makes him formidable and not just yeah, his I'm sure. cold as fuck. Like, like, yeah, like, it's, 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 sure. most people, people are going to get their so shit erased quirk is. and get hemmed up and get their ass whooped because they're too dependent on their fucking quirk. Yeah. I See, mean, and that's what it's always seemed like but recently it's starting to feel like people are getting their physical abilities up and they will beat yeah. your ass right back and then so then what does that mean for you know eraser if, if they can just you know physical back him it's you know? tactics then at that point it's it, you yeah know, it's 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 strategy yeah. you know and and, and that's but a difference in experience it's, and it's something i really wanted to see is yeah. that there is more physical shit happening like yeah. people aren't aren't relying on quirks completely there is other things involved than just how does my quirk interact with your quirk and that's going to determine yeah. the fight because yeah. I, I i hate that i don't yeah. want it to be you know counter 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 right. counter every, everybody just counters each is somebody else and right you know i i, I don't i you know i'd like yeah that tactics a cool to be strategy to it on like a tactical like team fight kind of situation but at the same yeah. time i definitely do agree with you kiko that i would want more personal 
you know, accountability for, you know, these fights inside of 1v1 yes. situations. Yeah. That's a great way to say personal accountability that yeah. you can, you can do other things other than train your quirk to make yourself stronger. That's not just your quirk and not just totally your yeah. quirk is who you are and that's it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 100%. Um, but at the same time, I present can, Mike Unchained. Yes, and 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 this was good. This this um this is cool because so, um I love present Mike and and Aizawa's dialogue this chapter, and I'm glad that Kohei you know didn't quote didn't forget fire. to I, yeah I'm just glad that that Kohei didn't forget to give them their moment when confronting Ujiko, you know because like when we got the the Shirakumo chapters. Aizawa was like, what are you going to do, you know, if you run into the motherfucker who did all this shit? <laughs> and President Mike's like, I'm going to give him some fucking words, bro. I thought he was just going to shout and fucking blow his fucking eardrums out. But that would have been fire. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been that would have been some shit but i'm just glad that, that that they had that moment where they both said like and present mike is like dude you you could have used this you could have changed you could have changed the fucking world man like you could have really real. made the world a fucking incredible place like with, with if you would have put all of this like heart and all of this determination and hard work into bettering things but you had to See, fucking be a crazy true. piece of shit it's not true it needed the human experimentation to get to that level yeah, but he's still an he's still an incredible medical mind. So like, sure. even though even yeah. though even though human, they do all that human even though human experimentation was the medium that he chose, sanctioned experiments for the medical, they do all that. Yeah, like yeah, even but even they though, don't Orochi Maru fucking chop your ass up and <laughs> experiment on you. You know, like yeah. that's that, you know, and I'm not obviously True. nobody wants that to happen, right? Like yeah. I, but you know, I I like all those. Th those were all good words, and and it's. That part, though, I with with both of them, it's just sad that that's not actually him, you know. I mean, but no, it's it's not like they. It doesn't it it doesn't seem like it's out of the realm of possibility for them to have their words with the real one now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because Miruko's um, in there with the feet bro, game, bro. The Zangi fucking yeah. drop kick, bro. Kick yeah. that door, the morgue door open, bow. You yes. know, just oh, yeah. But uh, Horikoshi needs to calm down showing whole pussies on this shit. <laughs> I was just going to say, bro, like, he's a wild boy. Come like, on, man. Like, she's wearing he's fucking, like, like right, skin-tight latex. Tell her mad about like, last week. With yeah, but do you have to give it what, the money shot that on that bitch? Here, here we go with some bunny girl pussy. How's that feel? <laughs> and I'm looking at the tights. I'm like, damn, that shit is hugging. Like, the lips are barely <laughs> holding themselves in. And then I see yeah. the slit. I'm like, yo, <laughs> Horny Koshi's a wild boy. The fuck is going on? Fuck like, it. I didn't see anybody on Twitter reacting to it either. And I thought it, they were going to go out of hand. Somebody, and, somebody did. Somebody went crazy. Okay. On it. I, I, I saw I just, somebody go crazy on it. Um, all right. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see it. But I'll, yeah, I'll, so. I'll, I'll link y'all to the tweet because that's actually one of the things that I was like the most involved with was like that that whole argument earlier today. But um. Oh wow! Yeah, but yeah, that shit was wild. Um, but it was I mad mean, dudes fap into that shit. I'll tell you that. <laughs> going crazy, but no, I'm glad. I'm glad that Miriko is in like a is in like a spotlight right now because I was really disappointed the last time that she was used when like she just like showed up too late to like Dobby's, you know, like situation. And then like Dobby just kind of like left, and she was just like darn and like stomped her fucking foot on the ground, and that's all she did. I was like, I really wanted She's to see her fucking do some shit, huh? She's number three hero, right? Um, behind Ed Shot, yeah, I think, yeah. So that'd, oh. be, that'd be four then. Yeah. Well, no, because like, isn't Wash fucking? No, Wash is number number ten, right? I think so. I know that she's. Yeah. I, I feel like I'm pretty confident that she's right behind Ed Shot. She's top five. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Gar yeah. For sure. For sure. Um. Yeah. Either five or four. But the way like, she's I'm, running through these fucking no moves. Bro, fuck See, yeah, shit. fuck that, yeah. That's so questionable. Like, why does she get to, but everybody else is so scared of Nomu that they're going to die immediately if they see him. Well, Endeavor but, isn't, unless it's Endeavor, in, Endeavor, Endeavor did fought, fight, like, whatever, like, two or three at a time, right? Yeah, and, he was, and, he was and, cool. Um, Hawks yeah, isn't yeah. really a combat type like that, but even though he's the number two hero, he's yeah. a number two hero for different reasons. Miracle like washes, like, five, six of them right in the hallway in a blink of an eye. Like, yeah. that's that's way stronger than we've seen anybody in this show thus far. Besides or in this All Might. Series. Besides All Might. So she could be the second. Kind player. of, because be All Might had trouble with just one, and I know it was genetically modified to fight All Might yeah. with his quirk. But yeah, it, it, man, some of them other no moves look like that too. Just big ass swole ones. Like, yeah, 
what's the fuck's the difference? Maybe she just the time and 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 uh, and and you know sure. work put into that specific yeah. one that looks like that for for All Might. But yeah. I mean, like, I'm totally cool with Miruko being the second strongest physically hero behind because everybody else seems to use other strategies. Like Edshot's quirk obviously isn't like a a powerhouse you know kind of fighting style. Um, Hawks is right. you know I'm just happy that she's here because yeah. this is what I need for this story. I need somebody to kick the fucking walls and doors <laughs> yeah. and shit. I'm, I'm I'm tired of all this fucking. I'm gonna use my electronic fucking jamming signal. To, I'm like, no, <laughs> go beat the motherfucker. Electrocute him. Hit him with the fucking lightning bolt. I don't care about your jamming <laughs> techniques. Like you know. Like, <laughs> all right, that's not true. I do care about the other stuff too, yeah, but it's yeah. just I I, I I need a little bit more of this, you know, because man, this chapter I was just so hyped for to just kick all these doors and just kick all the fucking doors. Yeah, yeah. but now I feel like these are Miruko death flags, and I feel like she's gonna. I feel like I feel like she's gonna go run up on Ujiko, and he's gonna be like high end. Take this bitch out. <laughs> she's about Kick that high end's head off, Morgiana style. Like, uh, kick that bitch down the block. You think she could take a high end? That would be incredible. I would love to see it. But then that kind of like devalues like Endeavor a little bit. And Endeavor's not like the same kind of type she is. Like she's yeah, straight his, physical taijutsu, beat your ass. Yeah, type, but his you know? DPS is like more like, destructive, right? So like he's got more like 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 high power sure. fire has got to do more sure. damage than you know, no matter how strong you're fucking. I mean like obviously yeah, but it's it's the fact that to evaporate somebody. Endeavor's gonna take hits and have to tank them because he's slow and not yeah. fucking you know like agile he's a yeah. big tank man you yeah. know like yeah. yeah so i don't know i just whatever yeah you're right you're right though because yeah it's a full different power. kind Endeavor, of damage it's a different yeah, kind of damage you know he I should mean? just be able to burn that nomu to death clear one yeah. fire whatever his full power shot is just yeah. burn that bitch at eight thousand degrees celsius here <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know but i mean i don't know i can see ujiko releasing the high end um, and you know, and I can see, you know, Miruko like getting like fucked up a little bit, you know, maybe, but like before, like she's really cooked, I can see Endeavor coming in and being like high end again, huh? I'm ready this time. You know what I'm saying? And like saves her, you know, like I can see a situation like that or Miruko just dies and then Endeavor shows up in a high end killed another pro hero so, in front of him. That would be fucked it, up. It's good that you bring up the high end because what's all those things in those tanks is those other types of high ends or are those people that he has like suspended in there that he's doing fucking. Well, we saw know? we saw Shigaraki in there. Shigaraki's in, in one, but there's like six, seven, eight other ones. Is Ujiko so. going to release Shigaraki early and just like see what happens? Maybe. I mean, that sounds like what he's going to have to do if they can't just use this little fucking head Nomu on a fucking on wheels to teleport the body. <laughs> what the fuck is that thing about? <laughs> nomu on wheels? Head Nomu on wheels. Oh, shit. He looks like the fucking he's Yoshi. Out of there. He got crushed by the bookcase. That, that, the... Nomu, oh, that, yeah. that, that little Nomu looked like the Yoshi from the live action Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> if you remember that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. fuck. The H and I W is dead, huh? Head no more on the wheels. <laughs> H and I, yeah, there it is. The H and I W, fuck yeah. Oh man. But uh, but yeah. So <clears throat> those tanks. I mean, if those are all like high ends that he could release, or like you know, maybe not like full like the hooded ones that he they already showed that they have like I don't know eight of those on deck or some yeah. shit. I, I don't know if that was actually the case or if that was kind of like them foreshadowing you or not even foreshadowing think about oh damn what if they add those on deck yeah but um i mean if these ones are like incomplete but are supposed to be you know superior ones and they're obviously going to be stronger than all the other no moves but maybe not as strong as the hooded one that i think that would be pretty good then she could try to like 1v5 or for a little bit before somebody comes in and saves her and actually be able to fight them off because if there were like five hooded ones yeah obviously no way she could fight those yeah yeah but i i, I want to see her fight yeah, I want to see. I'm sure she'll get a full power fight right now. There's that. That just has to be what it is because of how underused she's been, and yeah. the kind of like fake out that we got where we thought she was gonna fucking do something against, you know, Dobby and the pro hero arc, and then Dobby just kind of was like, haha, see ya, and then bounced, and she was just standing there like, damn, I showed up too late. I was like, damn, really? That's yeah. how you're gonna do her? So she yeah. really needs something right here. I feel like, but yeah. uh, Eggman's got 5k quirks on deck on the shelves, just chilling. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So that was that was kind of going she back to that. So like she set his work yeah. back like decades. That's so many like uh, yeah. years of quirks, like yeah. uh, quirks that are lost to history now at this yeah. point. Yeah, it's fucked. Yeah, it's, that's wild because that's what I was thinking um, when you were talking about. So when the twice clone has 
you know, its ability erased and it shows him getting older. Um, is that necessarily his quirk or a quirk that he's found out some way to steal and implant in himself, you know, just to have the immortality or the longevity that the time that, that's needed? Because if that's your quirk and you control like your age, why are you 60? You know, you go from yeah. 60 to 80. Like, why wouldn't you just be 40 and yeah. not fat and ugly with a big yeah. giant muscle? <laughs> probably, he can probably <laughs> regulate the speed at which his cells regenerate to control the age he stays at or some shit if you get super skilled with it but they even said like this is probably how all for one stayed alive and young for so long hmm. but for him to have the quirk too and all for one didn't just take it they're talking about quirk replication he gave all for one his quirk and i'm pretty sure he's been with him the entire time just chilling his right hand man yeah so why wouldn't you just taking be the quirks that yeah. taking the quirks that all for one brings and replicating them so that they can make nomu or just store the quirks for future use yeah so yeah. like that so it's totally i mean it's totally fine it's totally fine if ujiko's hundreds of years old why not is that the doctor's name because it was it stated this chapter at all um it's like she it's like uji like shiga he changed it he changed it yeah i know but was it stated like because it's i thought it was weird that he was like yeah i'll change it next chapter but then he didn't even make it a point to state the doctor's name again but we see well they said the doctor's name a couple times during this didn't they i don't think so hmm. at the beginning it was you know they busted in and uh he sees him he runs off saying how these two say doctor hmm. um and then it, the next time they say I'm pretty sure they tell him to stop being so rough. Oh yeah, and then he's like, "What did what did the good doctor even do?" Hmm. <clears throat> okay. And yeah, they they didn't say his name, which is weird. Well, I found and, it weird. That he's like, "Yeah, I'll change it. Don't worry, I'll change it next chapter." And then didn't even state it. Maybe, maybe maybe it's changed and they just haven't said his name yet. Maybe it just wasn't put on the translation too. So you yeah, never know. Yeah. Like maybe like Viz is just kind of waiting it out to see what happens with it, and they're just yeah. not going to throw a firm name. Yeah. I mean, they certainly. I mean, didn't. maybe they just didn't even bother changing it in the American translation because, you know, it's not like an outrage over here. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Fizz shit. I don't know. <laughs> but. Right. Yeah, that's a swole ass fucking Nomu. She just kicks the fuck in half. <laughs> How? Yeah, baby. Because it's not the it's not the All Might Nomu, even if it looks like it. I don't know. That's the yeah. only explanation that I can really have for it, but yeah but yeah i don't know that's all i had though yeah i think that's all i had as well good stuff though and, i'm, uh, I'm hyped for the next one design break this week yep that uh that'll do oh. it for this episode yeah dude and fantastic conversation you guys fuck yeah yep. hell yeah this is another fire weekend jump super quick yep. yep and with that all done this That'll do it for this episode of the Project Manga Podcast. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did, make sure you smash that like button down below if you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you smash that subscribe button if you're new to the show and have been enjoying, and, and have been enjoying the podcast so far. Make sure you leave a comment down below and let us know what you thought of this week in Jump. <laughs> and also, like we said before, be sure to go in the description box down below and visit that link tree, which will bring you to the links to any and all of our online communities. It will bring you to the links to any audio listening platform you'd like to listen to us on and also ways to support the podcast if you'd be so inclined. And with all that out of the way, this will be another amazing episode of the Project Manga Podcast. Wrapping up, I'm your host, Eagle. It's your boy, Kiko. Read Jigo Karaku. Yes, and it's your boy, Noxtradamus. Sada da da. da.